Hello friends, uh, in today's lesson I am going to show you advantages of using anchor, anchor declaration in Oracle PLSQL. So <coughs> I am going to talk about two anchor, anchor declaration. One is person type and one is person row type. And what is the advantages of using such anchor declaration? So you can see here is a table, create table employee details in the code number 5, in PF number, you know or EMP PF number it is also number of size 10 and employee EAC, ESI number number size 10 now with this uh, table I am going to write a small PLSQ block and in this block I will use say EMP code number I know exactly what is my table and I EMP PFNO number 10 sorry and EMP PF uh, ESI NO number 10 and this would be in the declaration section and here what will I do I just uh, suppose select EMP code employee pf no employee esi no into emp code emp pf no and emp esi no from uh, employee details Where? Sorry. Uh, let us remove this one. Okay. Uh, let us add uh, another field, EMP ID. Number three. Let it be primary key, not null. Okay. So we will do where EMP ID. But to say. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what happens? This actually goes very well until everything is okay, until there is no change. Now suppose what we do uh, in this little, uh, later on, uh, what uh, there is a bit change in business logic and uh, the DBA has been asked to change some, to make some modification in the um, database. So what it does, uh, now till now it is number and suppose uh, employee has been asked to change the EMP code, EMP PF, employee PF number and employee ESA number to change it to Varchar 2, Varchar 2, say the Varchar 2 15 or 20. So they decided to store alphanumeric numbers. So it will not affect anything because if you change Varchar 2 to number, it really affects the database because uh, there is alphanumeric and you want to take, uh, change, attempt to change it to number. So it will, which is not allowed in Oracle. In numeric field, you cannot put uh, existing alphanumeric field. But if you convert a number field to a numeric field to an alphanumeric, it is possible. So what DBA does, alter table, <coughs> employee details, modify EMP code, Watcher to say 15. The same way, employee EFNO Watcher to 15, employee ESINO Watcher to 15. Now, when suppose this is a this block is in inside a procedure, okay. So say create or replace procedure get EMP details. Okay, so inside this say EMP uh, C EMP or say code 
लंबा प्रोग्राम सो इन दिस just make the one more changes you will pick out 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 so i make it out so it is will become a by reference variable which will uh, when you call the procedure it is uh, the parameter pass is been modified when you use out there is a video out parameter on out par parameter returning multiple values to procedure can Check that video. So, what actually happens that when DBA made these changes, this procedure generates an error. Okay, because it is a varchar varchar field, there is a type casting problem, and after the varchar field, all the database entries are made are alpha numeric, and we want to uh, attempt to uh, invoke a fire a select statement. Which attempts to insert enter virtual value into a numeric value, okay, which is inside in the parameter. So this is a real problem. So there should be a huge refactor has to be made, a huge change has to be made on the database, on the procedures, all the functions which uses these variables, this table and the respective columns, and this really make a problem. So. this here the solution the anchor declaration comes so what will i do here using instead of using numbers i will use employee details dot emp code person type here instead of number i will write employee details dot employee psno percent type here also dot employee psno percent type uh okay so we'll uh, let us delete this okay so now what we have done we have just created this uh, given the person type so what person type does it actually takes the actual employee emp code the type so previously it is number so at that time it will take number now it is varchar2 it will take varchar2 so there will be no problem when you use the select statement and get the value from the because the value which is been fetched from the database is been assigned to the variable which is of the same type okay so it is it becomes total totally dynamic when you use this type of thing okay this type of anchor declaration so it is totally independent and nothing need to be done okay no recompilation nothing and it's become totally dynamic so this is uh, one part and there is another part uh, which is exactly very useful when you are uh, say using uh, whatever what will i say in, in case of uh, cursor okay when you are fetching from a cursor it uh, actually it helps very it helps the uh, it's a lot of help okay so that is no type so suppose we declare a cursor declare cursor emp card we select start from employee details and 
EMP rate is employee details percent low type. Now what will happen? You don't need to declare all the column names, all percent type, percent type, percent. You can declare three percent type. Okay, for the three variables, it does not require. Now what we'll do? Suppose open EMP card. Fetch EMP card into EMP rate. Okay. You can just uh, give a loop here. End loop. And exit when SQL percent not found. So see, uh, if I have declared uh, given percent type, so you have to given say EMP code, employee details <coughs> dot EMP code percent type, employee details dot EMP, suppose uh, let us declare it EMP code. Employee details dot EMP code percent type in the same way. PFNO employee details percent employee PFNO percent type. employee ESI you know percent type now you have to do uh, fetch EMP car okay into uh, so you have to do the matching and you also have to take another suppose EMP ID because you have to match everything. Details start EMP ID percent type. And you have to give all the columns in proper order. EMP PF NO and EMP PSI NO. Okay. So you have to maintain the order of the columns as it is in the table. Okay, you have to uh, give the exact percent type and uh, type should be same. So this is a real hectic task. So rather than this, I'll just do percent row type that is EMP rate. Okay, so we will delete all this and get rid of this. Now you just print this DBMS. line emp rec dot emp code <coughs> emp rec dot employee yes you know and employee yes I am so, so what happens that uh, in this case also, if uh, anything, any of the data type changes, so person row type does not um, need to know about what table structure changes, what have been changed. I just, when I declare the cursor, cursor I have taken select start from, and when I have declared the variable, the type EMP rec, I will just declare this as person row type. So, Whatever be the alteration in the table does not matter. It just fetches it dynamically. Okay, so it makes your code more flexible. Uh, does not uh, generate any compilation error or it does not generate throw in error error later on after the data table is been altered. A column type is been changed. So this is the advantage of using percent type and percent row type. So I'm not just showing you any uh, practical example because this is an abstract table I've created just to, for this lesson. 
uh, I hope you like this video if you like the video please press the like button and if you don't like the video please press the dislike button and you can also subscribe to my channel that is a CPHRO 190776 thank you very much